For our last example, we're going to be doing some comparisons using range and standard deviation. Now here we have a set of scores for two different golfers, golfer A and golfer B, and our task is to compare the range and standard deviations for the two golfers and talk about what it means. So let's start with the range. In order to find the range, I need to find the largest and smallest numbers from each of these. So as we scan through here, Let's see, anything smaller than 83, it looks like 83 is our smallest number here. And our largest number is 98. Okay, so what is the difference between 83 and 98? We can do that again using subtraction. So 98 minus 83 gives us 15. So the range for golfer A is 15. Let's talk about golfer B now, finding his largest and smallest. It looks like, let's see, smallest, 87, anything smaller than 87, looks like that's our minimum, our smallest value. And our largest, let's see, 95, looks like that's our largest. So 95 minus the 87, we get a total of eight right there. So the range for golfer B is eight. Okay, what does that mean? That means that golfer A from largest to smallest was 15 and golfer B was eight. This one had a far greater difference from its highest to its lowest score. Standard deviation we're gonna do on the computer, so let's head on over there. You can see here I've typed in the scores for both of the golfers, golfer A in this column and golfer B in that column. I'm going to get the Google Sheets to do the standard deviation for both of these. So the command again is equals S-T-D-E-V-P for standard deviation and P for population. I'm gonna open my parentheses and click X so I can get to my numbers and highlight them. So we'll highlight those, close the parentheses and hit enter. Standard deviation for golfer A, we're gonna round that to the 10th, that's 4.6. Let's do the same thing for golfer B. Equals S-T-D-E-V-P and then we'll highlight these, close the parentheses, hit enter, and we get 2.5. So we'll head back to the board and take a look at what that means for each of the two golfers. Now remember, the word deviate means to stray from where we're expected to be. And we typically expect, in a situation like this, to be somewhere around our mean. But, as you can see, the scores go up and the scores go down. Standard deviation is designed to tell us how far we expect them to go up and down. So golfer A, we expect to deviate from this mean by about 4.6. So that's 4.6 below and about 4.6 above. So we expect them to be about within that distance from their mean, typically. Maybe they'll have a really good game and be higher up here or a really bad game and be lower down here, but that's about what we expect. For golfer B, they deviate from their mean by an amount of 2.5 typically. So 2.5 below and 2.5 above. And as we can see from this picture that this golfer, golfer A, has spread out their scores or deviated by a lot more than golfer B. So we can say, that golfer B is a lot more consistent than golfer A. You'll also notice that the range is bigger for golfer A. It is often the case that if they have a larger range, they will also have a large standard deviation. That's not always the case, but often is. So standard deviation is a way to tell how consistent something is. Does it stay really close to the mean, like golfer B? Or does it stray a little bit farther from the mean, like golfer A? Thank you.